Okay, so now we will design our home page. Let me close these two files. And right here, instead of the container, we will return a scaffold. And here, the background color will be right here. We will use a if else condition because, as you know, we have a white mode and dark mode in it. So we will say that if the is white is true, then the color will be dot white, else the color will be black. And for this is white, we need to import this main dot dot at the top, because as you can see right here, we have this pool on the main dot dot. By default, it is set to false. Okay, so if the is white is false, then we will show the black color, else we will show the white color, something like that. And then right here, we will add an app bar. And inside this app bar, the background color will be the same as the scaffold. So we can just copy and paste this down below. Then in the leading, we will have an icon button. The icon will be switch and inside this switch the value will be is white. This is basically the button for turning on the dark mode or turning it off away. Okay. So this is the button for that. And right here on the on changed the value will be changed so for that we will use a set state and inside this set state the is white will be equals to value and then let's just print that value right here in the terminal okay after this unchanged the active track color will be colors dot gray. Then after this, the active color will be colors dot white. Then the inactive track color will be colors dot gray. And the inactive thumb color will be colors dot black 45 after this switch we will add our own pressed and let's just leave this on pressed as empty outside this icon button we will say actions and inside this actions widget we will call a function which is by the name build pop-up menu so let's just copy this name from here now and right here at the top we will paste it and we will type widget build pop-up menu and in here we will return a pop-up menu button Right here we will type and this pop-up choices is our model so in the all models right here we need to create a new dart file by the name of pop-up underscore choices and right here import the material dot dart at the top then we will create a class by the name of this pop-up choices and right here we will have two variables the first one will be string title then the second one will be icon data by the name icon and let's just call this inside the constructor so we will say required 
this dot title then require this dot icon and that is it for this pop of choices model now let's we'll just import this at the top and in the item builder we will say build context context we will return our choices dot map then we will say pop choices then choice right here we will return on pop up menu item and right here type pop up choices in the child we will return a row and inside this row we will add a children widget and right here set the value to choice right here we will add a icon and in here we will say choice dot icon then color and the color will be color constant this is color constant sorry and then we will say dot primary color then after this right here we will add a container and inside this container the width will be 10 then from the text We will say choice dot title then in the style right here we will say text style color will be colors of its color constants dot primary color and right here type to list after this at the top right here let's add a icon which will be icons dot more underscore world and its color will be colors dot gray Then after this, the on select will be on the on select. We will call this function which is on item menu press. So let's just copy this name right here. Type void on item menu press. We will say pop up choices. Then choice and we will say that if the choice dot title is equals to sign out okay then we will call the handle sign out function Else, if the choice title is not sign out, then we will redirect the user to the settings screen. Okay, because in the drop down, we will have two options settings and sign out. So, if there is a click on sign out, then he will be sign out. And if not, then that means that the user click on the settings 
icon so we will need the user to reset in screen but for that we need to create a new file by the name of settings underscore page and right here import the material dot dot and then create a stateful widget by the name of settings page that's it now right here we will say navigator dot push we have the context and then the root is material page root and we will redirect the user to the settings underscore page dot dot now let's quickly create this function which is handle sign out so on top right here we will say void of a future void and then name this as handle sign out make this a sync and in here we will say provider dot handle sign out don't worry we will initialize this or provider in our init state so don't worry about that after this when we sign out the user then we will redirect the user to the login page again so make sure to import the login page at the top and let's create this choices list so for that right here we will say list then pop up choices then the choices will be equals to pop up choices and right here we will say pop up choices so the first choice title will be settings its icon will be icon start settings and then the next choice will be sign out now let's initialize this auth provider so for this let's just create the init state at the top so let's just create it somewhere else for example after this pop up any widget so right here type init and right down below this super dot init we will say or provider equals to context dot read both provider and let's initialize the home provider as well so for that type home provider equals to context dot read and then home provider but we don't have the provider for the home so let's just comment this out for now now right here we will say that if the or provider dot get import the provider at the top as well okay so or provider dot get okay let's move on to right here and let's initialize the for the clear the or provider at the top and then let's declare the home provider and guys let's just declare all of the variables needed so we don't need to type them again and again 
So type this three. Or you can just comment this one because we don't have the home provider for now. Then the next four variables will be these. The first one will be the underscore limit, which will be by default 20. Then the limit increment, which will be 20 as well. Then the text search. And then the is loading, which will be by default as false. Then after this, right here, we will add these two variables. The first one will be the Google sign in and make sure to import this package at the top. And then the second one will be the scroll controller. That will be it. Now in the init state, we will say for provider dot get user firebase ID. Then add ML checker then type dot is not empty so if it is equals to true then the current user id will be equals to or provider dot get user file base id And in the else block, we will say navigator dot of context, then dot push and remove until the new root will be the material page root right here. Type context, and then this will be equals to the login page right here type root then dynamic root and it will be equals to false then right here type list scroll controller dot add listener and right here type scroll listener now let's just copy this and let's create it after this on item menu press or on top of it right here type word scroll listener then we will say that a list scroll controller dot offset is greater than equals to the list scroll controller dot position dot next scroll extent and the list scroll controller dot position dot out of range then we will set state and set the underscore limit to underscore limit increment Okay, so this is the underscore limit which is 20 and then the underscore limit increment which is 20 as well so we will plus n equals to or you can type underscore limit plus plus or something like that now let's just restart our application okay it is running this is display screen now we are directed to the home screen now if we turn on the white mode or turn off the white mode as you can see it is working and also if we click on this as you can see we have the settings and the sign out button let's click on the sign out we are redirected to the login page now let's just log in again and as you can see it's give us this option let's select the first one 
maybe as you can see we are signed in so now our app bar is looking beautiful now and in the next video we will continue our work on this home page again and uh, add the other functionalities